the story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Hey guys, King of Charmanders here, and today I bring to you a video on a huge update, version 78. Elder Dragon Interceptions, Drift Smelting, and more improvements. This video covers the recent version 78 update. There is a lot to go through this update, so I'm going to break it down as much as possible. Hopefully something you were looking to get fixed is in this update, as there was a ton of fixes. Alright, let's jump right into it. Here are the main features adjusted or changed, page 1. Monster behaviors at the start of hunts were adjusted so that they are timed more effectively. If the timer of an Elder Dragon interception goes to zero and you try to buy an Ultra Hunting ticket, you couldn't join the raid. Now you can participate in the raid as long as you don't return to the main screen. So make sure you don't bounce out to the main screen if you're trying to buy a ticket or anything like that. And bam, you should be able to still have one last shot at a full Kushalador raid if you happen to have this situation. And the pose you have set in your guild card can be seen in the friends list. Nice, if you want to flex, this is nice. I'm pretty sure most of you don't care about your friends' poses if you're looking through. But it is a nice little, like, touch to your pose that you set up for the friends list when you scroll through it. Next, we have main features adjusted or changed, page 2. You can now use Insta Smelt on a Drift Smelt you already started. So to do this, you tap on the Drift Smelting Tank symbol on the Drift Smelt screen to use the Insta Smelt. This is nice. I mean, you. I would just wait, especially if you're like halfway into already having a drift smelt done. Like 2.5 kilometers is a lot, so like I would just wait. But in the in either case, like you can, if this is really an issue, again, you could just use insta smelt on whatever you're using. But again, if you're like halfway already onto it, then I wouldn't use it on here. I think this is mostly for if you made a mistake and you didn't want to drift smelt, like you wanted to insta smelt on this one and you're like, oh crap, um, wait a second. I actually wanted to insta smelt. I didn't want to drift smelt. So I think this is a good way to mitigate that and why not? It's a nice little UI improvement for insta smelting and just drift smelting. So it's really good. And a dialogue will appear when your adventure sync is turned off. So more drift smelting stuff. If your adventure sync is off, well, they'll be like, hey, wait a minute, dude, turn this on because if your adventure sync is off, it won't really count your steps really accurately. At least that's how it works for Pokemon Go. So hopefully they fixed a lot for Monster Hunter now because I know some of those concerns were something that was brought up in feedback. A message will display to tell you your drift stone storage is full. This is really good as well because I usually would be like, how many drift stones do I have? Because if I'm going after a full smelt build, I'll double all my drift stones. And I'll be like, am I at 10? Okay, cool. I'm at 10 now. So this is a really nice little improvement. There's also some user interface improvements. Some of you have already noticed that if you do drift smelting, you will see the skill display its entire description instead of just the skill itself. So for newer players, this is great. You're like, oh, wait, hold on. That's weakness exploit. Wait, what does weakness exploit do again at level one? And then you will see it over there, which is really good. And some improvements have been made regarding lag and freezing. So they reduce the graphical rendering load and the performance degradation that occurs when the app is running for long periods or consecutive hunts has been mitigated. So if you left the app for a long time, and I definitely noticed this because I leave my app open a lot, especially when I'm doing Elder Dragon interceptions, because when you're driving to a lot of interceptions, your app is open a lot. But hopefully this helped a lot for you, especially for those of you like me that play for long periods of time. And again, just a little bit of improvement for those of you that do have a lot of lag issues and you're noticing a lot of things for like older phones, etc. Hopefully this made a few fixes and improvements to your gameplay. Moving on, we have fixed issues for the app. An issue of being too far starting solo hunts has been fixed. And this is for iOS only for Apple users. The app may freeze when using Bluetooth headphones. This is actually something I encountered a lot. It was actually really annoying because whenever I go to the gym and work out, I have my headphones on and I'm like trying to like, I have to restart the app sometimes just because I'm, a this is, I thought, I thought it was like an issue on my end, but like actually it was the app. So like, it's good to know that this was fixed. So now I can lift, I can lift in without worrying about the app freezing. And then when I'm resting from my set, I'm like, oh wait, hold on. I can I don't have to restart anymore, so this is awesome. And you can't use the monster guide when huntathons are in a pre-point state or a preliminary state has been fixed. Reduced damage to small monsters with certain weapons was also fixed. So I think this is nice because some of you for some of you that were using certain weapons, like 
the damage to small monsters was different so no matter what weapon grade or build you use etc the amount of damage you will do to small monsters was the same but it also felt a little weird that some weapon types or some weapons did like less damage than others so happy happy to see that this is fixed and hopefully it makes some changes for you if you're trying to kill small monsters faster with the weapon that you're using speaking of weapons we have fixed issues regarding the weapons for the greatsword damage may unintentionally increase for jumping wide slash it's funny because one of my friends was like the greatsword's doing da more damage for the jumping wide slash and he's like they're probably gonna patch it soon Sorry, dude. <laughs> and next we have the Gun Lance, and the Gun Lance actually has a lot of fixes to it. Some attacks are deflected by monsters. I actually encountered this while practicing it, so I was like, I'm really glad this is fixed because I was really weirded out. I was about to like worm stake shot, and I was like, wait, what? Did, did you just like deflect my worm stake shot? Like I was, I was just like, like, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Click actions become unresponsive under certain conditions. Another glitch that I've encountered as well. Glad that's being fixed because I've tried to dodge under certain conditions. I'm like, wait, what? Or if you're trying to combo into Worm Stake Shot, it was really annoying. Waking motion from sleep status was unnatural for some monsters. And I was like, I don't use sleep. So hopefully for those of you that do use sleep that this was actually fixed. And recovery items may be usable with incorrect times. I think this is what certain ish actions, like I remember using it. I was like, I don't remember being able to do this with other weapons during certain motions, and you can do it with a gun lance. In addition, damage counts for worm state cannon are reduced based on graphic settings. I actually didn't know this was a thing because I play on max settings. iPhone 15 Pro, you are amazing. And Xfinity, you are amazing. But yes, I actually didn't know this was a thing. So I'm glad this was fixed because worm state shot is a lot of damage. So if you're using that, well, yeah, it would really suck if it was nerfed just because you didn't have a good phone. So this is really good. And last but not least, charge shelling aimed upwards fires diagonally forward. So this is just the direction you're aiming at. If you're trying to break parts, this can matter, so glad it was fixed. But wait, there's more. Here are fixed issues with some other things. Kushaladora's status ailment resistance may increase without being affected. I actually didn't notice this was a thing, but if it is, that's kind of annoying because it's like, oh wait, we're trying to proc poison and poison isn't procking as fast as it should or how it normally builds, so... Poison is really good for Kushala, by the way. You do 2980 for 9 ticks. So that's an insane amount of damage. So you poison users, great job. And you can't navigate to the shop from the item box. Full dialogue. I'm not sure this matters much. Because I don't navigate from the shop to the item box a lot. So yeah. But incorrect warning text in some languages for season story urgent quests. I personally don't know what the heck they're talking about because I use English. I'm assuming English wasn't broken because I didn't notice anything for English. So hopefully this was fixed for some of you and it helped you out. And the current tier position is not shown when transitioning to the season pass screen. So this can matter, kind of matter. I mean, I usually look at my tier position anyways to collect your items, which you have to do. So I don't think it really matters when you're like looking at it. So kind of annoying if you're like really like looking at that tier and like trying to get a certain item so i get it but hopefully this does do a little bit of justice for you now that it's fixed hopefully this update helped fix and improved a few things for your personal monster hunter now experience i think the big one for me was the headphones not freezing having my bluetooth headphones connected while i'm at the gym and i'm resting in a set like i mentioned before and i'm killing a monster so thank you thank you capcom Sciatic. that little thing actually matters a lot for us ios users Huge thanks to Niantic slash Capcom for everything they do. The major update just came out two weeks ago and we're already getting a long list of improvements and fixes. So it's re I can only imagine how hard it is to get all this all these things together. If you played Pokemon Go, if you played Pokemon Go, you know that they usually don't get they definitely don't get things as fast as we do. So huge thanks to the team that works on this game. We really do appreciate y'all and Hopefully, like, there are more improvements coming in the future like you always do for us and that they're easier on you and that y'all are taking some breaks because breaks are important. Also, don't forget to download all assets in the settings page to make sure your gameplay is smoother and you don't have to wait to download some assets before hunts. It's like 200 megabytes or something like that. I definitely do it every time it updates. Make sure you download all assets. This will make it so that when you try to do a hunt or whatever, you don't have to wait for a loading screen and download those assets before you finish. 
And please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. I hope y'all are enjoying the new improvements, slash hopefully your update experience is really good. Good luck on your grinds, good luck on all your drops, and I will see y'all on the next video.